Hello everyone, it's Canadian Titan here and I'm back with some more Fortnite Battle Royale. And once again, I'm taking my wife's advice and overdubbing footage. That way I was able to kind of focus, concentrate. I have to admit I've been playing more than a few games in the last couple days trying to get another win in. Um, yesterday, the, the games that I played, it just was not happening for me. Um, my wife can attest to the fact that uh, I was getting kind of frustrated. I think I sat down for three different play sessions to try to get a win in, um, maybe four, and I, it just wasn't happening for me. So I was really happy today when, after a few games, I was able to pull out a victory. So we're going to kind of go through that, and I'm going to give you the play-by-play -play of what I did and why. As you can see, I'm just standing, relaxing in the waiting area as we get on the battle bus. This is going through all the new areas, and one of the things that I like to do is jump off early. Um, the reason for that, as you can see, I'm heading towards one of my favorite areas, just uh, by the farm. And one of the reasons why you want to jump off early is because it gives you time to collect resources. I mean, the more I play, the more I realize building, building is the key to kind of coming out on top. So I want to be able to collect those resources. If you get off the bus later on, the storm comes in, and then you might have to run all the way across the map, and you don't really have time to collect resources. Now, of course, if you're great at uh, PvP, you don't have to worry about that so much. You, you collect a little bit, and you're golden, because if you take down someone else, you'll get their resources. Right off the hop, I got a, a 50 shield potion, which was nice, and some extra ammo for some weapons that I don't have yet, and some brick. I usually drop a little bit further into the map than this, um, but I fell short. And that happens sometimes. You just got to adjust and try to uh, get to somewhere where there's some, some materials, some weapons especially. I got another 50 shield potion, so I'm 100 over 100, which is a great way to start the game. There's 82 people left. There's no chest in here today, unfortunately. But there is a better M16. Now I'm going to rotate uh, to the east and try to get... Sometimes there's as many as like four or five chests there, and the storm zone, thankfully, is not too far away. Numbers drop really quickly again. We're down to 72 people, and I'm going to collect some basic resources. Sometimes this game feels like running simulator. Chess gives me some micro potions and a blue burst, which I take. At first I think I I get down here and I go, wait a sec, did I actually take that? Because it didn't replace the green one that I had in my um, uh, quick bar. And so I go back upstairs and like, did I, did I get that gun? And then I realize, oh, yes I did, it's in the last slot. Okay. I'm right on the edge of the safe zone. With 2 minutes 15 seconds, I got I got a ton of time. So I'm going to see if there's some chests over here. And I'm trying to check out for people that might be around. The beginning of this game was actually fairly late in combat for me. Some of the losses that I had before this... Um, I had games where I had like six kills and eight kills, and I still ended up losing, so... Um, high kill games don't necessarily mean winning games. We got the wonderful sky chest here. I get some grenades. And I spend way too much time swapping through equipment here. That should have happened like twice as fast. I don't know what was wrong with me there. I still have enough time to check the house. Like I said, sometimes when you come in this area, there's like chests everywhere. This time it's just a lot of ammo. So my blue burst already has 120. We're down to 53 people. A minute till the storm starts moving. 
lots of time. I don't even hear any gunshots at the start of the game, which typically means people are at least, I think, 250 meters away. This house was brutal. Usually, like, two things of wood and some ammo is not good. Thankfully, there's a med kit. And as you'll see, due to some mistakes that I make, that med kit and other med kits I think I pick up during the battle um, or during the round, super useful. So we're transitioning into what I consider the mid game when there's less than 50 people left. And that's when you want to start really boosting your resources. If you haven't had a chance to um, take someone else down and get their resources, you really need to start collecting your own as quick as you can. So I bumped up my wood. I have a little bit of stone, or brick, and I have a little bit of metal. Sometimes there's a chest up here, but today there wasn't. And then typically I rotate over into this uh, little hut looking thing. Um, in the basement there's typically a chest in there. I'm looking out for snipers. I thought I saw someone building up on the hill earlier. Um, but I must have been wrong, because I don't see any structures up there. But you see me keep checking over there to see, like, you know, is there someone there? As I get close, I realize that someone's already been through there, because I can see through the far wall, which is not there currently. And so I rotate down um, to this kind of quarry area, which I like to go to as I head towards Fatal Fields. I don't pick up either of the silenced SMGs. Because I really don't have anything I want to give up right now. At least not for a gray silenced SMG, that's for sure. Up here there's typically a chest. But someone's already got it. And then over here a lot of people miss. There's extra ammo to the left, typically. I slow down because someone's been here. So I want to be careful. There's only 31 people left, the storm doesn't move again, or actually I think the storm is moving for another minute and a half before the next uh, storm zone is located. Typically up here there will be a weapon and ammo, this time it's just a pistol, not so good. And then in this little cave here there's typically a chest and a weapon, or a chest and some resources, and we get a chest. And we get a scar. That's one of my favorite weapons. Um, the YouTubers that I watch that win a lot of games, it seems that that weapon really helps them win. Um, I am, I can't do the double pump shotgun technique that a lot of people do, and so uh, having a scar and some kind of explosive weapon, that that combination for me seems to be really good. And then of course uh, attack because, like I mentioned. Pump shotguns, as much damage as they can do, I just, I, I need to be able to shoot more often because my aim isn't so great. And as my aim gets better, I hope to be able to switch over to the pump. And then, if I can figure out how people do the whole double pump thing, maybe I'll do that as well. It's a timing thing. You have to be able to shoot one, wait for it to, like, you know, eject the shell or reload or something. And then you switch to the other and shoot it, and back and forth and back and forth. And... You're actually able to get more damage per second than any of the tactical weapons or the tacks that uh, tactical shotguns. I hear a supply drop coming down, but I don't see it in front of me. I'm trying to loop around over by the prison because I don't want to go through what I consider the busiest areas of the map. I want to kind of stay at the storm edge. The storm, being at the storm edge, means that people can't attack you from behind usually, or from the side, depending on the direction you're running. So I want to stay close to that storm edge. I don't go through the prison to get extra supplies or do anything in the prison really because um, there's just too many corridors and people put down traps now and it's pretty much a death trap, so I'm not going to go in the prison. Grab these bullets. Don't really need them, but may as well grab them. Down to 24 people left. 
minute and a half until the storm moves again. I want to check out the swamp to see if there's anyone there, to see if I can see a shotgun, because I currently don't have a shotgun. And I'm getting kind of nervous as we transition into the late game that I don't have a shotgun. I see the shield potion, so I go on down and then take a ton of damage. Whoops. So that's uh, one of the times where I have to use a med kit because I made a mistake. I really should have put down a platform or something about halfway so that I wouldn't take that damage. It was a waste of time and resources. Pump? Pump shotgun? No, no pump. I see one down there, but it's just a gray. It's not necessarily worth going to grab, especially with 40 seconds left in the storm zone, like the safe zone being so far away. I really have to go quickly at this point. And that's something you have to be very careful of and cautious of as you play this game. If you get caught at a position, the storm will push you to places where you don't want to be. Doop, doop. And that's exactly what happens this time. As I pick up these uh, supplies here, I, I get lucky and get some more mini shield potions. I see that there's a metal base, so I try to loop around that. I don't want to get caught by a sniper. And then I realize, wait a second, with so little time to get to the next zone, there's no one in there anymore. And you can see the storm is already on my mini-map, and it's coming for me. 17 people left. Storm's going to get to its next spot in a minute 20. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'm, I'm just running and hoping that no one engages me. I'm going to have to head right for Retail Row. And as I mentioned, you don't want to let the storm push you. And this is exactly what's happening. I'm going to go to a place that I don't like being. Right? I like to be in the open areas because then I have a chance to build and, and maybe escape. And um, when you're in any of like the city areas or like the commercial area like Retail Row... You start to lose those opportunities because you know you can't build as freely and people can hide at a lot closer range and a shotgun blast and you're gone. So I slide down this hill. And I continue to try to get around retail row, but the storm is just approaching me too quickly. So now I'm just trying to rush for the safe zone, which means cutting right directly through the majority of retail row. I don't even really look too much to my left and right because at this point I'm like, you know what? If someone shoots me, I really just have to keep running. I don't have a choice at this point. I don't have time to build. I don't have another med kit, so I'm going to lose health if I don't get out of here. And you can hear the storm approaching. And I am I know I'm right at the, the spot where the storm stops. I take a little bit of damage, but... Not too bad. I, I basically got there exactly on time. If I would have been one second faster, that would have been perfect. And in here, we get a blue tack, which is great. I hear a sniper shot. I wonder if they're shooting in my direction, someone else's direction. I don't know. I hear more sniper shots. I grab this ammo. I see this big shield potion, but I don't have anything. Eh, we'll get rid of the green assault rifle. With the SCAR, I, I don't necessarily need an M16. I'm trying to figure out how I want to get out of here. I don't want to use the front door, so I bust through a wall. I hear a missile being launched. I'm looking to see if I can find where the missile was shot from or to, but I don't see anything. I continue to hear gunshots, and so I, I, I want to get closer. I want to see what's going on. There's only 11 people left. You know, maybe I can see the person and get lucky if they've already been damaged. If they're trying to heal up, that can typically be an opportunity to take a couple of shots at them before they can um, engage you. I carefully try to approach. I listen. My head's sticking out of the bush. This is bad bush cover. This will get my health back up to 100%. I see something golden. It's a sniper rifle. It's no use to me. Someone else can dig that out if they want it. I'm going to go to the next uh, safe zone with 9 people left and 23 seconds to get there. One of the things that I don't really understand the best setup or best system is which weapon to have out during these kinds of situations. I know the, the purple scar, the legendary scar, probably does more damage, DPS, than the TAC. It is better at medium and long range than the TAC. 
But if I get into a close range uh, battle, the spread on the, the shooting for the tack will more likely keep me alive. So if you have any suggestions on which way to go, um, scar or tack, when you're running like this in an open field, let me know. I'd be curious. Over to my right, I saw a bush uh, moving, and that means that someone was wearing one. And so I'm going to take a second to try to loop around that person so they don't see me. Trying to get myself as close to the new safe zone as possible. And I, I sit in this bush and I check and I'm like, wait, is that a person? It is. And there's my first kill of the match. Bye bye, bush sniper. Get up there to grab the supplies. And again, I take way too much time in this and start getting pinned down by fire. I don't know if the person's going to rush me or if they're going to back off. I realize that there's bases all around me and I hear supply drops being opened. So I don't want to stick around here. I'm, I'm in the middle of too many people and that could mean too many problems. This is a huge risk what I'm doing here because I know for certain there's someone probably in the base to my right. And there's probably someone over by that supply drop to my left. And there's probably someone in that base there that can see me. So I feel like all around me there's people looking for me. I hear more missiles and it's being shot at what looks like a base being built very close to me. And now they're shooting at each other. And then I realize, wait, Everyone's probably looking at them. I should probably get out of here while I can. I listen for one more second over at that base to see if someone's running. And we go! And I can see the person going for the supply drop. I take a couple of quick shots on them, and I miss most of them, which is brutal, which unfortunately attracts the attention of the other people, and I lose a lot of my shield. Five people left. A minute until the storm moves again. I think the little bit of base that I was building has now just been destroyed. Someone's putting suppressing fire on me again and I get as I get in the tunnel. I try to listen for a chest and I don't hear one. So I don't bust down that uh, hidden wall, and I run into a med kit, and I'm like, oh, med kit, thank goodness. And you can see I replaced my grenades with the med kit. But I realize that drinking the big juice, I'll have a free spot, so I take my grenades back. No one's chasing me down. I'm expecting them to pressure me. You know, I'm in the storm zone. They know where I went. Why aren't they coming for me? And then I realized, you know what? They probably just died. There was a sniper shot and a rifle shot, and that probably took out the guy that knew where I was. I can probably climb all the way up here without anyone hearing me. I considered there for a moment dropping my grenades for that big shield potion, but I have five mini shield potions. I think I'm good. The grenades potentially could be much more handy. I'm in the safe zone. I can see through this little window to my left here. But there's no one there. I hear people attacking each other. There's only three people left. I'm one of three people. The other two people are attacking each other. They must be looking at each other. This is my chance to move. So I try to figure out where are they? I'm trying to use the fact that this is a third person game to peek around corners. I see a base to my northwest, but no one in it. I hear another missile shot. And I try to figure out where oh there they are. There's the one other person. It's just me and one other person now. We're going to spend a lot of time watching this guy build different things. Here he's going to build one of those amazing, like, YouTube, you know, powerful bases that's, like, nearly missile-proof. And the storm is now, like, right behind me. And he's, like, trying to goad me into attacking him, too. Right? He's exposing his head. He's like, come on, get me. Like, do something. I want to keep an eye on him, but I don't want him to see me. So I'm just going to build this ramp so I can get a slightly better angle and he can't see me. And I'm just going to watch and see what he does for a bit. I don't have to move for another minute. This is risky as well because he can consolidate his position, but what he does is he leaves his big 
stone brick base. And I think the reason he does that is because he's expecting me to go and attack it. But then I see, after a little while, like I'm expecting him to come around the, the, the hill there or on top of the hill, and I start seeing this wooden base, so I know that he's building another base. And I put the tree between myself and his new base and get closer. Because I want to get in the safe zone. I don't want to be caught out in the storm. I see all that loot to my left, and it was so tempting. I hear him shooting, and I'm like, what is he shooting at? He can't see me. Is he clearing trees, bushes, buildings? I'm not sure. I see this big tower structure that's mostly made of wood, and I consider for a second just throwing some grenades at it to try to knock it down. I don't see his head pop out of there at all. And then I realize the bottom half is metal. And I start hearing a jump pad. And so what that means is he could attack me from any angle. And so I get super paranoid. I'm like, uh-oh. I hear the jump pad again. Okay, so he's using the jump pad and trying to use it to search for me, right? Get a huge height advantage. I hear him go again. What is he doing and why can't I see him? I got 17 seconds left. I'm pretty much on the edge of the safe zone. He starts missling something. I'm not sure what. And then... I see him fly on down. Walk into his little metal, metal building. Shoot a missile and pop back up into the sky. I'm like, okay, where did he go? I listen. Nothing. Oh, he just popped right back up in the sky again. I realize he's trying to trap me. If I were to jump in there, it would all those traps would kill me. So instead I shoot at him and he realizes I I've basically taken over his little base. I'm thinking he's behind there, so I start fortifying myself. I need a base. I don't want to be an easy kill. So I make a little two-level base at first, and just wait for him to peek around a corner, throw my grenades, destroy his trap, and there goes his trap. Now I can see very clearly what's over there, and I don't see him. Build up to the third height, which is still fairly safe. I can drop from this height and not take fall damage. And I realize that behind me there's a hill, which if he gets on, He'll be able to snipe me while I'm looking in this direction, which is kind of frustrating. And I'm just moving, constantly moving, as this is building. You don't want to stop moving. I'm moving and looking and moving and listening and moving and looking. He could be anywhere. He could be anywhere. He could be in there. He could be down there. Where did he go? The safe circle is so small, I feel like I should be able to see him wherever he is. I hear another supply drop go. The two next to me are still fine. And then I see his head for just a second. He's down in the lower side of that cliff. Another supply drop's coming down. I don't want the supply drop. I just want to get a height advantage on him. But I make kind of a weird mistake here. I want to I want to see down that little... I don't even know what you'd call it. I just want to see him. I want to, I want to get height advantage. I want to get a couple headshots on him. So I build out. And I'm looking for him, but the smoke from the supply drop keeps getting in my way. So I can't see down there at all with this little ramp I made. I reposition myself. And I'm like, is he in that bush? Nope. He's under the stairs. And we start to exchange fire. I lose all my shield. He missiles up at my little ramp. He missiles up the cliffside, trying to do damage to me. I get a couple more shots on him and move before he has a chance to retaliate. I try to come at him from another angle. I'm listening to see if he's walking, if he's climbing, if he's building. I can kind of hear him walking and I saw him for a split second. A couple more shots and got him. Oh my goodness, quite a battle. Remember everyone, gaming should be fun, so keep having fun, and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.